Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we start today's video, let me introduce myself to you guys and let's talk about what I have been posting on my channel and what I'm going to be posting on my channel. My name is Sara. I'm from Jordan, in case you questioned later on from where I got this accent or if I mispronounced any word by mistake. On this channel, we're going to be listening to different types of songs, checking out different artists, listening to different music, and giving our honest opinion and honest reactions on them for entertaining purposes only. Usually, I'm a very talkative person, and I love listening to music. So I said, this is going to be the perfect opportunity to explore a diverse range of new songs, new artists, and to talk and communicate with each other. So if you would like to be a part of my musical journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to turn on the notification button so you can get notified for every new video that I'm going to be posting. For today's video, we're going to be listening to one of the suggestions. Thank you so much for the person who suggest suggested this song to me. It's for Dave. I already love the singer. And the song is called How I Met My Ex. It was posted five years ago and it got almost 9 million views. Let's check out this song together and see what is it about. Lime. I met my girl when I was 18 years old And she was just turning 23 I really love her from my heart Guys, sorry for interrupting Since this is an audio Let me open the lyrics So we can read the lyrics while he's singing I already love his, song, his uh, voice so much here it is. I like that cover more, like the picture cover. Lime. I met my girl when I was 18 years old. And she was just turning 23 I really love her from my heart And even though I don't deserve it Fam, I hope she loves me So I just done this private show I'm doing Foot Locker promo And judging from the postcode It was Shoreditch or Soho Did 6 or 7 tracks Made 6 or 7 racks A couple days later on Twitter I saw this photo of myself And I was grinning That 4K camera quality It got me tripping So I'm checking out who did it When I stumbled on this girl And I could tell that she was different A couple hours later Now I'm liking all her pictures I ain't finished I typed her Twitter name into my Insta So I could check on every single little digit why didn't i just message her trust me i was thinking but i'm a self-centered rapper too concerned about my image the truth so when she hit me first i'm pretty shocked i didn't burst i'm calling josh jack and just who am i ringing first man i was so excited that i replied a minute later that's that bro i think that you just let her know excited too excited no clue on what i should do excited so i'm just typing rambling like a fool excited look look and we were talking for hours over some minor things Ignoring everyone else to her and replying quick This type of chick, she got a spark like you were lighting spliffs You know you like her when you're thinking about your words She got me typing, deleting my messages, then rewriting In the hope that there's a smile when she's replying The highlight of my day, them phone calls in the night It's the little things The girl, she had a vibe and I liked it and She's into photography, she's got a passion for it And she respects that I'm rapping but she ain't catting for it See that's the perfect balance There's nothing better than a girl with talent, drive, ambition All of them things above she's showing in abundance I ain't even met her yet She works around the corner but lives just outside of London I ain't fronting, I'm a sweet boy Intentions are in question so my compliments are decoys If that even makes sense The first time I met her I'm surrounded by my friends Random ends on some staircase So much for a first date I just had a show and I asked if she could meet me after. Maybe we could chill, you never know where things could go No problem, she down to roll Travelled in a cold, so when I crossed the road Grey hoodie under a coat, if I'm remembering correctly It's always kind of weird when a person that you were texting's a person that you're obsessed with I was on her from the jump I think she was wearing <laughs> pumps or vans When I first met her, no, it's either either one Guys, he's not talking about me And I got emotional 
<laughs> she was looking so attractive I barely saw skin Cause she was covered like a mattress Man I think that she's the one I was stuck for 20 seconds Trying to give the girl a hug And all my friends are drunk So fuck it I'm about to kiss her Any complications I'm blaming it on the liquor Changing my name on Twitter And blocking her on my Insta I saw her skin blush The moment that our lips touched She pulled my bottom lip Until it stretched Kissed me on my cheek Until she reached around my neck And had me moaning like a bitch Even though I'm wearing jeans I had to rearrange my dick So she don't See that I'm a wreck It's the first time we met Got me feeling like a creep And that strawberry flavour Gave her tongue a kind of sweet Little taste that we could speak About anything We were friends first I dropped her to the station I remember Cause we had a conversation For ages about our dreams And the things that we hadn't seen And all that we had intended to do I bet she's hoping My intentions are true And as months went by We both got into it An intimate and I'ma spare you the details Cause both of our parents are probably listening But really we were into it Into us, into this Into everything about each other We were lovers and I love her Cause she knows me And that's probably why she told me You ain't ready for a girl You're still a little kid That's getting ready for the world And you don't need that kind of burden But I told her that I want it And I'm just being honest Yes I know that girls exist But I don't see them as a problem I meant every single word And I ain't gonna lie and say DMs have been absurd But out of every single girl This is the weirdest of position it's usually the girl that's asking where I see her fitting or a place in her position But I'm telling her I need it and I don't think she sees it So I'm being even sweeter when we're speaking and we're meeting I've got affectionate messages, you can read them You gotta tell a girl that she's beautiful till she sees it Believes it, understands it more than physically, mentally In the way that I'm feeling I could talk for 10 years about the moments that we shared The jokes that we had run in The places that we've been The music we made together Producing next to my bed Then making my minor changes In reference to what she said I think I started getting tired My schedule's a mess Reply My tongue is tied Guys First of all his voice God bless him He has such a stunning voice The lyrics I out of this world i love how he's being real he is like he made an entire song for eight, approximately eight minutes talking about some small details rapping them this is he's such a great rapper oh my god i love it like I'm already thinking of how many times I'm gonna de de listen to this. Guys are getting lazy and my lady knows it's crazy but she's there if I'm in need. While I'm at shows getting tempted by girls that are on their knees. You know I'm only a teen. It's like my eyes started drifting. Not as easy as I pictured to give you all to a woman. Ignoring all this attention that's been getting to my head. This sex is so accessible. One message or text and girls will get in your bed. She's trying to make it happen with photos at her events. I mentioned it's a passion. Photography is her thing and I don't know if it's the pressure. We're paying for me it's the passion and the pleasure we all got to work to survive so now she's popping up at shows taking pictures on her own and at first it wasn't cool but fuck it we'll let it go until i saw in some rapper's track suit i felt away she told me it was working she was in some studio taking pictures and i just sighed some halfway wannabe rappers have fed her lives they ain't looking for no picture i know it's your profession but read their intentions they ain't paying male photographers to shoot that same session and i felt so disrespectful standing on her dreams and crushing them i just told her it's nothing do what you need to do if i ain't feeding you then my opinion's all i'm giving when i speak to you because i don't have the right why should girls be punished for a male's dirty mind when i think about it now i'm ashamed to the core i mean how many men stop their women from achieving what they can because in secret they've been feeling insecure and i can't handle my emotions it's probably why i didn't see her talent when i should have been supporting and promoting like i didn't have a platform a voice and a following with everyone i knew i really could have done a lot of things to help Help chase her dream but instead of me to grow into the person that she needs I acted like I couldn't see and I don't mean to say this like I don't trust the girl but how can I trust her if I don't trust myself and even girls can get tempted you know how it goes what if she meets a bigger rapper when she's at a show what if he sees her backstage what if he's selling lots what if he's got a bigger car got a better watch that doesn't bother me she really ain't material it's all the little things they do that put the fear in you what if he actually replies what if he phones her too what if he's doing all the things that I'm supposed to do what if he's listening laughing relating what if he even cares to ask her how her day's been? What if he's trying to give her everything she needs and expects from the one damn person that she's dating? I should have helped her follow a dream, but instead I held her back and had her following me. And boys got a brave face, so they'll never know. 
that it hurts just as much when you let them go. with this song I loved how he told his experience his story mentioned his feelings and then then came to a reality when sometimes the man does not support his girl to follow her dreams just because he's feeling insecure or he's feeling worried about her or whatever I feel like this song is definitely one of the best songs I have heard, literally. Like he put eight minutes, like eight minutes of a song explaining his story, explaining his feelings. And then at the end, he's just telling like a brief of what he should have done. I love, love, love it. This is perfection. I'm still shocked. I felt very emotional. This is amazing. I'm gonna definitely download this song and I'm gonna definitely re listen to it for a thousand of times. Thank you so much for the person who suggested this song to me. You really don't know how much this song meant to me since I'm dealing with some stuff. So I felt like it, it was connected to me somehow. I felt related to some of the sentences thank you so much i really enjoyed it let me know guys what do you think about the song and don't forget for any other song that you would like us to listen to together feel free to write it down in the comment sections and of course i'll be listening to it at the soonest possible thank you so much guys for supporting for all of the nice comments for all of the nice explanations you have writing down writing to me i really appreciate all of your efforts hope to see you in my next videos have a blessed day everyone bye bye